Hey there, lads and lasses. This here is Thunderhand64 coming at you live on a Saturday night at just after 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time on the west coast of these United States. And that can only mean that it is time for the Generations Minecraft Realm server. Woo! Thankfully, here we are in Generations. We can just chill out, build, enjoy the good times with our good friends. And speaking of which, our... our Co-pilot mod and good friend Draken69 is already in the chat. Hello, Draken. How are you today? We have a lot to do today, but we also have a lot done today, too. Wow. Well, it, it may not look like a lot, but actually it is. It is quite a lot. So here is our aquarium tank. Ooh. And uh, this is pretty much the structure of how this is going to go. Uh, we're going to have one of these on this end. It's got the uh, water vader, our patented uh, water vader, bubble vader on the, on the end here. And uh, it's got a big old aquarium in which we are going to stock it with all kinds of decorations and aquascapes and animals, aquatic animals and stuff. And I don't know, maybe that wandering trader right there and, and a few others. So, uh, yeah, we got big plans for this. And, you know, as we add more and more layers up, we'll just extend this further and further and further on up into the sky. And, of course, there will be another one at the opposite end, way down there. So, this being said, uh, the next thing we have to do is, let me see build a build these two rooms front and back right off the edge of this that's what has to happen next and i have to remember how to do that <laughs> so uh, we're gonna have to pull up some reference uh pics in the desk in the uh, discord and uh get a couple of uh, pics there by which we can go by and let's take a look at the chat Kachi is in the chat. Woo! And Killer Shamu. Hey, Thunder, how are you? Hey, Kachi, how are you? Uh, let me see. Draken says, Nebs is on duty with Oz. Yes, I assumed as much. Yes, I saw that our good friend Oscar Diggs is on. And, of course, Nebs is a mod over there, so she's doing her thing there. And uh, let me see. All right, so we're all together here in the stream, and let's get going. Uh, we need to build some stuff, so let's pull up the reference photo first. And let me see, that's over here in our Discord. And let me see, that's going to be under Generations. And let's scroll on back. Through time. I think we have some reference picks here by which we can. If not, I may have to pull up some of that stuff. Yeah, definitely. Got one reference pick there. We've got a few others. I may have to pull up some screenshots, actually. Yeah, I guess I should have prepped these ahead of time, but I thought I already had them. Said, well, I don't know. I've got a couple right here, but they are for the foundation. Oh, wait, nope. This is good. This one will work. This will help us get started anyway. All right. So let's do a little bit of counting up here. We've got on the ground level. Okay, so 12. So 12 is going to be the ceiling of our lobby and you know what uh we did not pick a material for that yet so that is gonna have to be dirt for now but don't worry we'll take care of it we'll take care of it all right so uh we're gonna go up uh one two is up on the floor here uh we're gonna go three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve right there and that's the ceiling of the lobby and then the floor of uh floor number one is going to be right here and so um i believe what i did is i just basically followed the outline all the way around so i think that's what we should do we should establish this yes we should let's do that
This is looking a little strange. How did I do this? Okay, the glass goes in by one block. Whew! All right, so let's just do this. <laughs> I've got some ideas on how to take care of this, so I'm actually going to stock this up in my inventory right now. Uh, let's let's put out some of this stuff on the sides here, a little bit like that. I actually want to bring a little sand with me. That helps kind of locate ourselves here and lets us know where things are located. Helps us place blocks. That's, I think that's what I'm trying to say. Helps us place blocks. All right, now, did I put any chests over here? Yes, I think I did. Dude, are you really just going to camp right on this spot? Because, look, I mean, no, 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 and no. This is just all no. You can move along. Move along. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Move along. Thank you. Uh, chest within a chest. That's going to turn the dirt. Well, how about we need a little bit more than that? Let's go take a run down the other end of the street here, and let's see if we have any dirt stored. Uh, let me see. Oh, that's Biggie Cheese on Kati's account. Biggie! I have not seen Biggie Cheese in the stream in quite some time. By the way, Biggie Cheese, uh, congrats on making the varsity basketball team at your uh, high school. Biggie's only a junior, but he's on the varsity team. Because that's my boy right there. <laughs> this will be easier to remember. Okay. Yay, the hotel is coming to into existence. Yes, as a matter of fact, all we really have to do is uh, just get uh, about maybe three of these rooms on, and then we can invite people, and uh, that's, that's going to happen very, very soon. This needs to be brought out to here. So let me see. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Like that. And then we'll just bring this over here to meet this. Like that. And then, uh, so I'm just tracing the outline here. Yeah, Wandering Trader, uh, you know, if you're not going to be useful. Make yourself scarce, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes when I'm up here, the perspective is a little bit weird. Yeah, right? And so we need to do that. And that. Okay. That should be good. Okay. I suppose there's more professional ways of doing that but i don't know i just drop a sand block down see where it lands and then it's like okay and that's where i am because uh, you know i i often say scale is a weird thing in um in minecraft perspective is a weird thing too uh now i keep my field of uh view at about 70 percent. i know people don't really like that especially the speed runners but um you know when you start warping your um, field of vision. That's when things really get messed up perspective-wise. Wow. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, come on. No, the idea is to go up the ladder. Up. Up. Here we go. So we'll just do this so we can get back on here easily enough. Well, actually, I should put that down on that level because this will be the flooring material up here, and we know what that's going to be. The ceiling material for below, we don't know what that's going to be yet, but the flooring material, yes, we do. All right, let's make sure we're, yep, we're good. Now, I think, all right, here. Nope. We've got to do that and that. 
two, and then I've got two more. Okay, so how is everybody doing this fine Saturday? At least it's Saturday where we are. How are you doing? You have had a very trying two days on Buffooncraft. <laughs> but it's like, okay. <laughs> All right, moving on. We're doing generations today, so everything's going to be okay. And I was thinking, oh, you know, the buffoons are going to boot me off this server. <laughs> but they're not because they are so awesome. The buffoons are just so such good folks, man. They are so awesome. Sometimes, you know, living up to that buffooncraft expectation, self-imposed entirely, by the way. Those guys are awesome. Is is a little bit tough. Yeah, the last two days <laughs> was really tough. <laughs> but uh those guys are awesome, man. They're like, yeah, you know, Thunder, don't worry about it. <laughs> They're so cool. But here we are in Generations. In generations, we are very, very much... feel much more proficient here on Generations. <laughs> yeah, we're good there. Okay, so level, <laughs> level one is finally going on. Can you believe we're here, finally? So we got a couple of milestones coming up on the stream here pretty soon in October. October uh, 10th is the one year anniversary of this Realm 5. And I know we should have a lot more to show for it. I know. But we'll have something special planned for that day. Definitely. And we've got some other kinds of kinds of milestones, I guess. Uh for October as well, so. And let's get caught up on the chat here. Hello, everyone. I hope everyone is having a great weekend. Dusty Vodka, me little droogie. <laughs> it's been a very dreary, sleepy day here, or at least for me it has. Okay, but I don't know. Maybe that's not too bad. Maybe you build up some energy for tomorrow, right? Dostovochka, uh, hey, thanks for posting the pic of your interior design build on the uh, Discord. Uh, I did take a look at that, and uh, oh, you've got some skills. <laughs> I'm terrible with interiors, so I really enjoyed seeing that. Um, it's very inspiring. Gastavochka is now hosting my stream with one viewer. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. The more visibility we get, that's always a good thing. Like I, like I was saying, though, I was really enjoying that pic that you put up, uh, doing the uh, interior decorating with the candles. And I've yet to really use a lot of candles, too. So I've used a little bit in buffoon craft, but not too much in generations yet. Like I say, interior is not really my thing. So it's really, I, I really enjoy seeing other people's takes on, especially on things like uh, if you read my comment in there, um, furniture, I'm not, I'm not too good at. <laughs> so I really enjoy seeing people, how people innovate for uh, furniture and stuff like that. Tables, chairs, things like that. I really like that. Nebula is really good at that. So every now and then you'll see me drop down some sand here. I'm just making sure that I'm on target. Because sometimes up here the perspective gets a little bit skewed and it's kind of difficult to see where you're at. Let's 
good. Just like that one. Do maybe three like this. Bombs away. There we go. Okay. It's a strange way to build, I know, but. It is a strange way to build. I mean, did you really expect anything last, though? <laughs> There we go. So one here and one here. And again, right now, this is this will be the ceiling layer for the hotel. And then above this will be the uh, first floor, um, the actual floor material for the first floor, literally the first floor. All right, then. So that's that block. And then if I do this. Okay, this should land me right there. Good. Okay, good. Straight run. Let's go for it. So like I said, Buffooncraft has been very challenging for, for me lately and challenging self-imposed. You know, I mean, I've been really making my things hard for myself on that server lately. <laughs> but, uh... The buffoons are just so great. They're so cool. So my build on Buffooncraft is taking its own sweet time. It's really taking a long time. Phase one of my build is painfully and dreadfully slow. But uh, it's getting there. It's getting there. So um, one thing I should do at this point Though I think all of us know about Buffooncraft by now, but I still put the uh, up the Buffooncraft link for our Discord. That's our public Discord for all of our viewers. So you can, if you have any questions or, you know, would like to check out uh, the Buffoons, my, my work on there or the work of my fellow Buffoons, you can go check on the Discord. Uh, we post build picks. We have updates of everything that's happening on the server on there. It's really, really cool. You should definitely go check that out. Let's get caught up in the chat. Oh, uh, let me see. Overcast and raining all day day on and off most of the day i remember my scottish great grandmother when i was a little, little lad when i was like about maybe three or four sometimes she would speak in the broad scots or sometimes she'd use a little bit of gaelic here and there and uh I remember she'd say ah oh, it's adanesh adanesh which means all gray so it's like cloudy and misty and wet and stuff adanesh I, I do remember that so draken i guess it's adanesh where you are right now <laughs> <laughs> Princess Nebula sneaks in. <laughs> what was that about a wither? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> there was nothing about said wither. All right. So I'm going to, uh, let me see. Right about here. I think I'll pillar up here. This is a good test just to make sure that we're our alignment is correct and it is like this there we go All right, and it's almost time for sleepy time. All right, so let me see. I'm going to do a little. You know what? That's probably a good place to stop. And, uh, you know, uh, stop and smell the roses. No, stop and take a nap. Boom. That wasn't a bad throw. In fact, that might actually be a... Um, we should try a... <laughs> We should try a points redemption for that. Hmm. Enter Pearl Sleep. Hmm. 
I wonder if we can, I wonder if you hit the bed and click on it, can you teleport and sleep in one move like that? We are definitely going to have to try that. We're trying it. Next sleep, everybody. We may have another points reduction coming up. In fact, you know what? I actually want to strip this out right here and bring it down, down one level. There we go. Oof. Like this, and maybe we'll we'll see if we can start from here and meet up on the other side. That would be a good alignment uh, check. I think that should go a little something like that. And let's check out our alignment here. Yes, we're good. Okay. Let's proceed thusly. Hello, Koz and Bushies. And I think that's going to go like that. And that's going to go like that. And let's do another alignment check. Bombs away. Yes, there we go. We're fine. We're fine. Hmm. I thought I heard a tall tale about a wither getting loose somewhere. Yeah, you know, um, I have no idea what you're talking about, Nebula. No idea. Not the faintest. So, uh, let me see. Bastion, faceplant, sleep. H2, no, hydrate. Next sleep should be fa uh, Bastion, faceplant, sleep. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. okay. But uh, H2, no, hydrate first. Yes, like I said earlier, I do make things very difficult for myself on the Buffoon Craft server lately. All self-imposed. Thankfully, the buffoons are the people they are. That's all I have to say. For my sake. They're good folks. They are good folks. They treat me well. I'd like to be able to return the favor in some kind of way someday. That would be nice. A little reciprocity would be kind of nice, but maybe. Okay, and we should be lining up right about there. Two block there, and then if I do this, one, two, and there we are. Okay, so we've got the ceiling pretty much laid out like this. And you know what? I, I don't worry. I'm not going to fill the whole ceiling in with dirt. I, I just need the I just need the outline. Uh, let me see. Don't you make Minecraft difficult your, yourself, no matter what world you're on? <laughs> yes, yes. I, wow. <laughs> but it's okay, you know. It, thick skin, thick skin. Pleasant player, my sub expired. Oh, dude, don't worry. We'll take care of you. Pleasant player, we'll take care of you. We always take care of you. Dude, you are the coolest. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing pleasant. Okay, so the next thing we should do is we should start to outline. Now, we don't have the ceiling materials picked out for uh, the lobby, but we do have the floor materials picked out for the uh, hotel rooms. And that is what I'm going to do next. All right, so I think I think we went with white concrete, and we did um, a lot of andesite, polished andesite with stairs, non-polished andesite posts, and you know, of course, we we could change all this stuff too. And it looks like we have some chiseled 
some uh, chiseled stone blocks. Looks like we have some terracotta and some the terracotta we have in that chest over there to the north, although it's not rendered in right now. Uh, the white concrete, though, I think I made up some batches of that. Uh, for the floor, I think we had that was either oak or it was birch. Let's find out. Anyways, let's start gathering some materials. We can go lay some of that in. And, 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 and. We can take out all these while we're having a run over there. I'm all for the slight trolling today. You can troll me later. Oh, don't worry. I will. <laughs> Nevs, we're good. We're good. You're so awesome. Pleasant player, I am doing a huge recording for an epic YouTube video at midnight at midnight tonight. So I will watch you to stay awake till then. Also, I am doing pleasant. How are you? I am doing pleasant, especially after hearing that news. Dude, I want to see that recording. Although uh, you're going to record it tonight, it'll probably take you, you know, a, a while to edit it together, right? And, and before you post it and upload it. But I still want to see it, man. That's going to be cool. By the way, um, I've been doing some work in creative mode, getting back into redstone, people. Because actually, I'm pretty good at redstone. Uh, I, I'm not a redstone genius, but I'm pretty slick with it. Uh, and, you know, I do some pretty cool things in it, with it. And um, I got some ideas. And I've been trying them out, and so far, so good. I've been innovating pretty well with it. Uh, mostly, I've been doing build kind of stuff and terraforming kind of stuff for a long time, and I haven't really done a lot of redstone. I did a little redstone down there with my farms, but that's about it. Very, very little. Very simple redstone. And uh, now now I've been, uh, for Buffooncraft, um, I came across a, um, uh, a skelly spawner. Uh, right under my base. And now we already have a skelly spawner, a skelly grinder on the buffoon craft server, but you know, I wanted to build up that one. It's, it's, you know, if one is good, two is better. Right. And so, uh, in this one, uh, I can make it as silly as I'd like, and I'm going to make a very silly skelly spawner out of this. And I'm working on the redstone. It's going to be a wacky kind of redstone build somewhere you know, inspired by like Tango or ZF, that kind of thing. Uh, it's not their build, though. It's a totally original. Uh, but just the theme of it is silly. It's a little less efficient. It's a lot more silly. So just trying to think of good ideas for a skelly spawner. You know, that's that's always tough because, you know, something like a grinder like that is 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 pretty straightforward. You know, it's... There's really not too many ways that you can hype that up and make that more entertaining. But I think I succeeded. So uh, we should be seeing, seeing that pretty soon. That's going to be a little off-camera work, and then uh, I'll probably do that on Buffooncraft. So get caught up in the chat here. If you have a river running through the lobby, why not make it like a jungle and have leaves and stuff all around the ceiling of the lobby? Yes, Nebs, you read my mind on that. So that's kind of what I'm going to do. I'm going to make the lobby look a little bit like, now I, I don't know if you guys have uh, ever visited uh, the one of the restaurant chains for the Rainforest Cafe, but I was thinking something like that because uh, when we have the aquariums like this with a river running through the floor, a Rainforest Cafe kind of has a really cool uh, interior like that. The only thing I got to be careful for is I don't want to clutter it up too much because I want the back to be open so you can see the seascape. And I want it open for quite a ways of quite a, quite a ways across here. And so as you come up into the hotel through the front doors like this, when you look out, you need to be able to see the ocean in the background. Now, it's okay to have some columns here and there and a few things hanging down here and there with the front desk right here. And uh, the river will come through here, and there'll be a little pool here in the middle, and then it'll continue on that way. But I really do want to have the panoramic 
view open in the back like that. So you see the open ocean behind you and stuff. Uh, that's really the plan there. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's uh, pretty much what I intended to do. Great minds, Nebula. Great minds think alike. Okay, so I think I, I have a Bastion faceplant sleep. And you know what? I'm going to try to do that right here. <laughs> Let's see. But I'm going to flip the bed around. Like this. There we go. And we're going to have to do this pretty quickly because uh, this is quite the mob spawner here. All right, so let, let us line up here. Ooh, missed. Oh, no. <laughs> Mobs are going to start to spawn. We'll give it one more try. I think my angle was too shallow there. Oh, no, and here come the mobs. Here come the mobs. Ah, there we go. Second time. A little rusty. I'm a little rusty, people. And Pleasant Player, thank you for the lurk, dude. Thank you. Uh, hey, the Ender Pearl could be part of the Bastion Faceplant Sleep. Yeah, I guess so. Or we could just do it next time. I'm actually quite pleased that we got that at least on the second try because now we've got mob cleanup duty that we have to do. Clean up. Lobby floor, please. Yes, I'm getting right on it. Oh, it's just trying to play on my phone. All right, let's see here. Oh, there he is. Look at that little... Ha! Ooh! Takes care of you. Let's see if any more glow squiddies are... Ooh, glow squiddy! There's a glow squiddy there. Now, that's not Dispetto, because I think, if I'm not mistaken, the axolotls killed Dispetto. I think so. But uh, <laughs> that could be Dispetto, too. I think it would be a little funnier to call him uh, Dispetto Jr. Uh, let's see. I, th I think I have. I still have some name tags in my... In my no, I don't. Okay, we can go get some. All progress must cease for the naming of Despetto Jr. Guess I should buy a few of these, huh? Since Nebula, this looks like it's going to wind up being a regular thing, right? Uh, let me see. Got to think about this for a moment. Librarians. They sell name tags, right? <laughs> yes. I think they do. Fifteen! Highway robbery. That's outrageous! CPA back there. Consumer protection agent is not doing his job. Dude. Yeah, I'm talking to you back there with a the hat and a sword. Yeah, see this guy here? Do I have enough XP? 63, yeah, I think I do, Thunder. All right. Um, now watch. I'll go out there and the axolotls will have already killed him. Um, I have to fly under that thing now. Where is he? No! Well, the drowned is like, Oh, you could name me Dispetto Jr. <laughs> no, I'm going to name you Bye bye That's what I'm going to name you. <laughs> All right. Alas, poor Dispetto. I knew him, Horatio. Man of infinite jest. A glow squid of infinite jest. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Enough madness. Enough. Well, let's, let's just do that. Okay. Now, now we'll be ready. After the fact. Now that it doesn't matter. Aw. 
need to capture one and bring it into the lobby. I started something bad. I don't think it's something bad. Yeah, uh, eventually this thing will be filled with all of Despeto's descendants and extended family. All right, I'm, I'm trying to get this glass out of my inventory. Glass. I'm trying to get that out of my inventory. And, ugh, hands, cooperate with me. There we go. All right, uh, we need... We need some white concrete, people. And some andesite. I think I have some andesite down the other end of town there. And then when we get the concrete, I'll get rid of these other emeralds. Let's go. Let's use a little soul speed, too. Hey, I just thought of something for Zay Baby Zombie Rush. I wonder if we can get them to wear soul speed three boots. And I wonder if they also run faster with soul speed across soul sand. And then the player will hit the soul sand and slow down, but they'll actually speed up. Huh. <laughs> huh. Okay. Probably. And we'll have to try that. Uh, let me see. Regular andesite. A little bit of that. Okay. Let's just grab a whole bunch of andesite. Oh, we're going to need some chisel stone. We'll do that. Uh, nothing there. I want to make the chisel stone stuff. I think it's, is it two slabs on top of each other? I think so. Let's try it. I think it's like that, right? Yes. Okay. We're going to need a heck of a lot more than that though. So let's just do, let's just do this and get it over with. Hopefully we have a multiple of three here. Of course, Thunder already knows the answer. And the answer is no. All right, so let's do that. This is probably way more than we need, but... Well, I don't know, because we're going to have multiple floors here, so... Um, 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 a little bit of that, and we're going to need quite a bit of the polished now. Turns out that that's stone, not andesite. Oh, now, now my brain's completely freaking out. Calm down, gray matter. It's going to be fine. All right. I think we're doing well enough there. I think we're going to have to get some more. Yippers. Let's head down because we're going to need some stone steps and things like that. Uh, let's get caught up in the chat here. Code names says you're playing a dangerous game. <laughs> that is borderline diabolical. <laughs> Going to lurk for a bit. Be back soon. Yes, I appreciate it. Appreciate it. That's the whole point of Baby Zombie Rush, which is going to be built right over there. Everybody, right over there. That'll be marring the landscape right over there, or the seascape, such as it is called. All right, let's let's go get some more supplies. Uh, and you know what? Let's bring a shulker with us. Well, I don't know. I've got lots of empty shulkers because uh, this is uh, generations. <laughs> We're filthy rich in generations, people. We're dirt poor <laughs> in buffoon craft, but we are filthy rich in generations. All right, let's head on down to the workshop. Besides, I got a new idea for my basement floor kind of look. And so in Generations Realm 4, I had this kind of basement floor look, which is pretty cool. Uh, I like this kind of look. And so uh, what I would do is I put the glass blocks down here so the mobs can't spawn. And then... Um, then I'd put like carpet or something over the bedrock so they wouldn't spawn on that. Uh, so my plan was to do that 
Uh, same kind of thing, except put lo glow lichen on top of these to give off a little bit more light. And of course, they won't spawn on the glow lichen. And so, uh, but now I got a whole new idea. So I don't know. I might do the magma blocks and glow lichen for generations. And I might do my new idea for my basement uh, work area in Buffoon Craft. So we'll, we'll see. You should, all, you should all check out the Buffoon Craft. Tuesday nights, 6 to 8. All right. And uh, let me see. White concrete. Let's, uh, where was... Uh, 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 really? We don't have an ender chest down here. Okay. All right. Whatever. Uh, let's bring down some of this. I think we're down there for a little bit. Crafting table. Yes, at least I have that down here. All right, let's do this. Thusly. Yeah, there we go. And let's craft ourselves up some stairs. I suppose this would be a little easier using the mason's uh, bench and stuff, but a uh, block, whatever. Uh, I think we're good here. Ah, oh, hands, come on now. All right, that's better. All right, we can do some of that. And do I have the fixins for yet another ender chest? I, I think I do. There's the obsidian. There's the blaze powder. And of course, we have ender pearls on us. We're fine. We are fine. Oh, we need the Eye of Ender first. So that's one of those. And one of those. Here we go. Yay! Okay, actually, we should just station that thing down here. <sighs> mm -mm. Right. Come on, empty shulker box. Okay, um, I am down here to get white concrete, and I think I'm actually going to need two shulkers of said white concrete. Oh, I think I already have a shulker down here. <laughs> yeah, kind of. It's all in there. All right, let's, 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 let's do something like this. Do a little dosey -si do action. Yeah, I know, I know. It's going to be fine. I think you guys know where I'm going at here. I'm doing the bait and switch thing, kind of. Sort of. And let me think. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to need about maybe two of these. Uh, maybe not all of it right now, but uh, well, actually that's about all I have. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. <laughs> all right. I think this will be enough for us to get started. And do I have enough space for these? Yes, I do. Pretty. All right, let's go uh, drop off these emeralds. I think I will drop these off right about here. Uh-oh. Nighttime in the overworld. Okay, so uh, let us see. Well, this place is probably full of mobs now. And they're probably all around the bed. And I... <laughs> no! All right. Ender Pearl Sleep is going to have to wait. Yikes! I was hoping I can get in there and out of there fast enough. 
but we're better off luring these fools away because we have some a decent amount of work there that if that work were to be blown up by creepers that would really suck what are you doing here think i'm good we'll let the sun help us out here a little bit look at the harassment from the from the skellies really Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right in the green speckly skull. There you go. Oh, and I see you lurking over there. You're not fooling anyone. He's done. Wow, do I suck for the ball. I need some practice here. thing is, I'm putting all my weight on my hand here. I got to up the arm. Bye-bye. You're done. You're done. Oh, look at these dudes hiding under the uh, single block wide strip. Mayo glow squiddies. None. All right. Back to work. What were we doing here? Okay, we're gonna going to need. Uh, let me see. Okay. Um, how am I gonna place these? Very carefully. I think I'm actually going to have to make uh, some sort of scaffolding all the way down like this. So a little bit of scaffolding is going to be in order. I think that's really the only way to go about this. And let's set down these two shelkas. And let me see, we have a bunch of junk in our inventory. We'll go get rid of that. And uh, let me see, we're going to have to grab some scaffolding, huh? Fear not, for we have some in our tool chest. <laughs> well, we're, <laughs> we're supposed to. That means back down here. Got to remember where I am. Let me see, uh, generations right. Uh, <laughs> what was in my tool chest? Oh, I, I don't have any shulkers in buffoon craft, so. <laughs> it was really tough when we were still doing uh, Go Your Gnome Way, because then I had three different Minecraft worlds to try to keep separately in my head, try to keep track of. Now, let me see. Am I really using that? I don't think so. I don't think I'm using this any longer. Yeah, we should be making use of this over at the hotel. I think I got everything. Might be a couple of stuck, a couple stuck on some of those ledges up there, but they should be all right. All right. And let's see if there's any more in any of these chests. I don't think so. Oh, okay. Yeah, we got some right here. Uh, let's empty out our inventory. We got a little bit of junk here. We're packing. Um, 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 uh, let's get rid of a little bit of that and uh, get a little bit of this. Bye bye. We got a crap bow here. We can get rid of that. I think I just put something in here that did not need to. Some polished nanorites, andesite stabs, and a little bit more. Well, let me take a look here. I think we're good. I don't see anything super critical. Yeah, we're fine. All right. Now, usually I do a Thunderhand launch, but we are not uh, going very far here. So I'm just going to go.
we were zipping off to some other part of the server. I do a launch right here, but we're just going right down here. Okay, so let's get started here. If I put this scaffolding right here, I can, th I think I can reach both sides. That's good. So you know what scaffolding means. I'm going to be falling off of this thing like every two minutes. Maybe even more frequently than that. Okay, so. Uh, see, see, that's not that funny. That's not a it's so annoying. So annoying! Let's keep one stack with us right over there. And then uh, let's get all the endocyte we need for the... Uh, all right, we're going to need stairs. Lots of stairs. Uh, we're going to need this. And uh, let me see. Yeah, we need some solid pieces too. Like that. I don't think we're going to be doing columns yet though. We're just going to outline the floor first. Hopefully all the way down. Okay. And this is just an andesite block. Right. Right there. Good. And then, uh, let me see. I did all the stairs thusly. Like this. Okay, and then it kicked those out that way. But you know what? Yeah, I've got an idea for that. Because we made a transition area right in here. But I think we're still going to do that. Okay, yeah, that looks good. I think I've got the right idea. And then we're going to need a lot of glass for the railings and stuff like that. But we'll be fine. We'll be fine. I think, just for now, we shall do maybe something like that for right now. And then it'll be the uh, next thing here. Next scaffolding. We'll go right about in the middle here. We'll just leave the scaffolding out because we're going to do a lot of building on this, off the sides here. There we go, like that. I said like that. That's what I wanted to do. What did I tell you to do, hands? Yeah, okay, let's just put that there as the marker. And I'm wondering, should I have something out in front like that? So let me do a little bit of a count here. Okay, so there should be 11 of these in the middle. Let's let's do a little bit of a count. Eleven, and then we have the one piece right there. Good, 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 good. Okay, so now I need to move over one. And then I need to do the same thing here. So I'm going to put one of those there like that. Then if I did this out right, uh, thunder. So we, this is, this is what I wanted to do. <laughs> I wanted to have it like this, but I don't think that's going to work. All right, so we got to think about this a little bit. I'm certainly not going to go change the entire outline right now. Hmm. 
but let me think about this. Because this is not what I wanted to do. I wanted to have a. I wanted to have a slice in between these two slices. Huh. All right. Well, I'll work that out in just a moment. Let's try to do Ender Pearl Sleep. And you know what? First, I'm going to do Ender Pearl Sleep really, really close to it, and just see if I can click and sleep. Yes. Okay, so if you, uh, uh, I don't know if I quite did that, though. Yeah, I don't think I did that right. I think uh, I just clicked on the bed, even though I had the ender pearl in my hand, I didn't throw it. So what I have to do is I get, I have to get to a point where I'm too far away to click on the bed and then throw the ender pearl. All right, this is a problem. This is a problem, folks. This is a problem. Now, hmm, let me take a look at this because we have some design inconsistencies here. and then that comes out for four. Oh wait oh no 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 we're, we're actually pretty good yeah let me try this see again <laughs> this is where building slow gets you all right, so this, this actually goes here, believe it or not. And one of our stairs goes right about here. That's... Ah! Fuck. No. Hands. Okay, so now that that's there, I can move this over by one block. Like that. And then I can put my transition block right here. See, now that's, that's what I'm trying to do. That's where my column will be, and it'll, be, it'll separate those, and... So on, so forth. Now let's count this out and see if I actually saved us here. <laughs> I think I did. Ah! I told you we're going to be doing that a lot. Okay, I think we're good. I think that has to be a solid block right there. One more time. Good, 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 good. Great, great. Okay, it's working out now. All right. Ow, my cankles. Well, something like that, I think. 
where you had to use a filler block to continue the outline, it may have thrown things off. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because I, I just wanted that that one slice in between each of the hotel rooms. In fact, I think I needed that to make the closets and the bathrooms work. So I think I had to put in an extra slice there. And uh, I did do it, and uh, I just had to remember how I did it. Okay, and uh, mode change time. Uh, sit to stand or vice versa. That's right. We're six, into, six minutes into that. I am actually sitting right now. So into standing mode. There we go. And also while we're up, have ourselves a mm, bit of a stretch. There we go. Get a little blood flow back into the legs and the hips because I'm getting old. Also a little hydration here. There we go. We have to change our mic height. So we're not all hunched over on the microphone here. I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, let's do that. And uh, yeah, here we go. On to the next pot. So, and if I can reach that to click on it, I could do it. No, I can't. I can't do a middle select. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what happened here? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Sure. But you know what? This actually starts out with the... Uh, I think technically this is where this... This feature out here begins right on the end of that. So that's not really that big of a deal. Because I haven't actually worked out any of the material for that yet, for the face of that. So we can just... This part here, we can just dirt block this part in. I know, I know. Don't worry. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay, people. Yeah, there we go. All right. This is the part that we're really concerned with. So um, three apartments. E or sun, just like that. Three apartments. Okay, floor level looks like it's adequately in place. And uh, let's take a look at our reference picks. Okay, and it looks like we need, if I'm not mistaken, you know what, let's just quickly, uh, we're, we're making really good time here anyway. Let's just, for a moment, go back into uh, let me think. Creative test mode, but I'm working on something in there and hopefully I don't want you guys to see it. So I'm going to do a little bit of this first.
And there we go. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry, we're in our creative test mode right now. We're just uh, taking some notes here, grabbing some screenshots so we can get some materials in place. Ooh, got a little rubber banding there. Let's do something like this. And I'm going to highlight that block right there so we can get an idea. I can get a little bit lower like this. I think this will help us. Yeah, this will help us. This will give us all the materials we need to make one of these levels. In fact, if I aim this just right, I think that'll give us at least the outside balcony area, right? So let's do F2. And there we go. Welcome back. Thanks. So I had to be careful. I had to move my um, location because um, I have some cool stuff over there and I, I didn't want to show it yet. <laughs> All right. So you can see these transition areas. This is what I was talking about when I was speaking of the slice. In fact, that should be like that. Okay. So. And then, yeah, see, this is actually part of this transition feature out here. So I'm good. I'm good. Okay, so we can make this lobby floor area right here. We can do that with the white concrete. And uh, we have the glass panes, and I think that's light gray. Let me take a look. Light gray stained glass pane. Okay, so we're going to need some of that. Not a lot. I mean... But eventually. So uh, I'm hoping to get one, two, three of the faces at least here on the stream. And then um, hopefully we can get one of the interiors. One of the interiors done. All right. We can take a screenshot of the back here too. I think that'll be good enough for the back so we can fit that in. That's a good enough reference photo. Right. Okay, uh, we can log back off now. And I don't have to do a be right back because uh, we're not revealing anything. So back to generations. Of course, this is a Realm server, so it's going to take a couple minutes for it to load. Okay, that's not too bad. Hopefully, we can log back into the world. Do a little bit of stretching. Oh, there we go. Watching our little pattern go back and forth here. <laughs> Connecting to the realm. When? Tomorrow? <laughs> Come on. There we go. Okay, that's better. All right, so. Get down here. And now, if I actually, uh, let's go into Discord. We'll post those. Um, we'll go and post those pics into the Discord for reference. So where is, here we are, and then we need to go into our Generations channel on our Discord server. There we go. And let's post some reference picks. There we go. That one. No, 
number one. And of course they post out of sequence, but that's okay. I should have just done reference pick front, reference pick back, or back and front, whatever. But there it is. Okay. So those have been posted. So now we can use those. We'll go back to game like this. And uh, let's haul those up on the iPad. Nice. All right. So we said we needed some gray stained glass panes. Okay, and, and it's almost time to sleep, so we can try our, our pearl sleep. So let's do this. Okay, may not rest, bed is too far away. Okay, so if I do this. Oh, it won't let you throw the ender pearl at the bed. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, uh, let me see. Shiga Dancer is now following. Hey, Shiga Dancer, how are you? Fellow buffoon? Hello. I saw you in a number of our fellow buffoon streams today. I hope you're all well. Thank you for joining us. This is our Generations Minecraft Realm server. So this is uh, my original server that I work on. And, um, oh, it's um, actually... Um, quite serendipitous that you should stop by at this time uh, so I can um, announce this. Um, this will be our last Saturday generation stream. Uh, this next Thursday, Thursday, generations will be moving to Thursdays now. And so you get this Thursday for generation, uh, this Saturday, the 18th for generations and generations again on the 23rd. And then it'll be every Thursday, six to eight, um on the 23rd it should be we'll see uh, uh it'll definitely be thursdays uh the six to eight i don't know i assume it will be but we'll have to see we may change the time but the day will definitely be thursdays because saturdays are about to get completely insane here at the thunderhand household and so uh yeah we will no longer be able to stream on saturdays Okay, so uh, we were heading down to go get ourselves some glass. We are working, uh, Shiga, we are working on the um, hotel for our uh, Mushroom Island Central. Here's our Chamber of Commerce, our trading center. Here's the hotel. We've worked on our Bubble Vader um, aquarium. It's on either end of the hotel, and this brings guests up to their floors. So we have our path. Patented, uh, and this will be an aquarium in here. There'll be all kinds of coral and fish and all kinds of cool stuff in here. Uh, glow squiddies, squiddies, all kinds of stuff. And then uh, you have the old bubble vader, although it's a little bit wider than normal. You go up here and you go down. You, you know how these things work. And you can stop off at any floor here, right? You can go a little quicker on the sides, and then you can slow down in the middle so you can get on either floor. And then you can look at the aquarium. Oh, we've got some cod spawning in there already. Okay, so uh, we need to go get some glass. The AWOL buffoon. <laughs> I'm not absent without leave. I definitely have leave. I, I can do leave on, on uh, Thursday nights and Saturdays. So it'd be A W L absent with leave. Uh, let me see. I was gonna go get some glass. See now you now you went and you distracted me there. Jig, I can't recall. Uh, I don't think you may have stopped by the stream earlier on, very early on in this. But uh, you, we didn't have any of these farms up. I think. So we built our mega pumpkin farm right here, the old observer type with the water streams. And we've built our sugarcane farm. It's a very similar kind of configuration. Uh, and we've got tons and tons, way more than we could ever possibly use. But um, I haven't worked out a storage system and an item transportation system. Uh, this stuff will all be transported up and stored up in the Chamber of Commerce up there. And then Nebula with the Unlurk. Welcome back. Did you account for the walkways from the aquarium to the front door? 
and backs of the room sections. Can I account for that? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. If I'm interpreting that correctly. I think I am. Uh, we were we were looking for the glass panes right over here. Any light gray stained glass? I don't think so. I think we're going to have to make some of that stuff. Wonderful. And all my glass is upstairs. All right, so... Um, Ooh, and here's the thing. The uh, light gray dye. I think I can only get that by cutting black dye with uh, white dye, right? I think there's no cheap and easy way of getting that stuff. Well, thankfully, we have some black dye here. I'm going to get rid of some of this wool over here. Like that. And I'm going to see if I have any light gray glass or light gray dye already here that I can take out. Because I thought I made an overabundance of that stuff. Of course, it could be upstairs, too, and on one of the levels of the uh, Chamber of Commerce. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. And still not seeing it. And still, okay. So, I think I'm good there. Let's go get some white dye. And, <clears throat> excuse me. Throat's a little dry. Need to add melon into the pumpkin farm. That's right. Yeah, in fact, I think I talked about that on the last stream. Uh, just only because uh, melons are a little bit of the pain in the butt, but uh, when the um, pumpkins are all maxed out, at least you have the melons. You can get a couple of rounds out of them while you're waiting for the pumpkins to unlock again. And, you know, they harvest as slices, and then you have to go over to a crafting bench and put them back together as whole melons if you want to sell them. But, you know, at least it, you can get a, some more XP while you're waiting for the pumpkins to unlock. So, uh, yeah, a couple of strips of this, a couple, more than a couple, are going to have to be melons. Because uh, we have so many pumpkins here. I think we're I think we're all set for pumpkins for quite some time. So, uh, I don't know if I'm going to quite go alternate these with pumpkin, melon, pumpkin, melon. I don't know if I'm going to go that much with it, but I don't know. Maybe every three would be a melon strip or something like that. Maybe. We'll see. We'll, we'll do something like that, though. We'll have to work those in somehow. I was in very early. Yeah, I thought so. Like the first two or three days of buffoon craft. So that would be back in June, maybe, Shiga. There will be a message in the Discord uh, whenever I catch Nova for a talk about what's up. Oh, yes. He's meaning uh, when you walk out of the elevator, are you going to walk into a wall or are you going to get into the hallway? That's what he means. That's a good point. What did I do there? What did you do, Thunder? <laughs> yes, Dragon. Let's think about that right now. Now I know what you're talking about. Thank you very much. Yeah, let's go check that out right now. So I'm going to go back into, into our creative world. And I, I don't have to do the Be Right Back thing because I'm, I left off at the hotel, so I won't be doing any uh, spoilers. These waffles are so good, and I regret giving some to the boyfriend. Ooh, I've seen pictures of your waffle preparations, and they look delicious, if I have to say. Uh, also, um, if I say so myself, also, have anyone told you that you look very handsome today because you do? Ah. Come on now. Stop that. Stop. I appreciate the compliment. Yes, that's what I'm supposed to say. Thank you very much. Okay, I think what Dragon was talking about was this. Okay, uh yeah, what we did, what we did, Drac, is we built um we built the corridor inside the um inside the aquarium 
and it attaches onto the hallway here. So we're good. Whew. On the test world, uh, we worked with the opposite end of the build from what you are building in the main. Yeah, you know what? We haven't built these on yet, right? And so this is what you're talking about. Yeah, you're right. We didn't build these in yet, did we? Uh, we built this part, but we didn't build this little piece right in here. Yep, you're right. We did not do that. But this is good. At least it's not like a, an entire redesign. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> See, that's why the tag back seating allowed, back seat gaming allowed, that's why that's on there. Correct. Yeah, so we do have to make these, don't we? But uh, that's not too big of a deal. I don't think so right now. And of course, uh, what Draken's talking about is uh, this is with glass, right? But right now they're, they're set in uh, kind of like this. And what we need to do is uh, on the, on the front face side, uh, which on the opposite side of the build on the North side would be on the right. Um, we need to make that corridor in there to lead into here. You're right. Yeah, we do need to do that. But we're good. We're good. <laughs> Bay for short. Okay. <laughs> All right, Shiga. I accept it. By the way, I think you were talking about um, doing some stuff back on the Buffooncraft server pretty soon were you not because uh, I think you stream other games right now if I'm not mistaken it's all good until we start pointing out mistakes and no it's always good to point out mistakes always in fact that's kind of like your job. <laughs> All right. Better to catch oversight now and not later after getting that far into it. Yes, exactly. And that's why. Right. Plus, you know, uh, trying to sort these worlds out in my head right now is, is pretty tough. <laughs> yeah, I had evil plans. Uh-oh. And I stream a mix of games. My plan was always one stream of buffoon a week then playing it off stream other days oh okay all right so we've got to give shiga dancer a shout out definitely fellow buffoon variety streamer all around super cool and there we go All righty. You know, you got me thinking about those waffles now, Shig. You've got me thinking about those. All righty. Uh, so we were, before we went into panic mode, <laughs> we were uh, going to make some light gray stained glass. Before we had a coronary... <laughs> Let's do that. Okay, and then we can put the die back. Uh, that should be enough to make it more than enough glass panes and stuff for that. Um, we'll put that there. And we'll put that there. And we'll, we'll, we'll put that right there. Okay, that's good. And what's the, what's the weather like out here right now? Oh, good, it's daytime. Nice. Yeah, see, so... What we're talking about, people, is to come up here like this. On, on each of... Not the first level, uh, not the lobby level, but floors one and the subsequent floors. Uh, this is going to have to come out to here. 
This actually isn't open, so we kind of wasted this airlock. Uh, this actually goes this away, this away with a superfluous medium vowel. It goes uh, this way, and then the airlock is actually down there. Yeah, so we're going to have to fix that. That's right. Not a problem. That's that's actually a pretty easy fix to make. Or, disclaimer, let's, let us make the disclaimer and say, that should be, that should be an easy fix to make. <laughs> uh, let me see. I'm going to have to change my plans to fit around everyone's stuff as it is. Yoinking color schemes a bit. Okay. Uh, thank you. You are most welcome, Sugar Dancer. You are most welcome. Don't look at the plum jam bun rolls and, oh, those taste, those, oh, now you got me thinking. Fuck. You know, with a good pint of, like, really strong bitter coffee, that would be mm, so good. So good. All right, so uh, let's try our pearl, pearl sleep like this. Fuck, I missed it. Okay, that's that's because I didn't hit the bed with it, though. I hit right at the foot of the bed, almost. The heart attack was not intended. <laughs> of course not. We're fine. We're fine. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. It's going to be fine. It's going to be just fine. Uh, what do I do with all that glass? It's, it's right here, right? Now, we don't need to make too much of this because of the... Uh, we get 16 panes out of this, so we got to... I remember how to dye glass panes. I think it goes a little something like that, right? Okay, now this is gray stained glass. See? Uh, 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 uh. We need the light, light gray. So we need more white dye. More white, more white dye. That's what we need. Gee, I can't understand why I built so slow. <laughs> this is why. This is why. No, 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 down. We need to go down. Down, down, down. Down. Hands down. Okay, that's that's better. All right. Yeah, we'll do that. I think it's a little something like this, right? Yeah, see? We needed to do that. That's what we needed to do. I was originally, I think I tried the white stained glass originally, but against the white concrete, I think it was a little too much. And then maybe. And you know what? I think that's pretty good for right now. I'm going to put this right in here somewhere, one of these junk chests. And then let me see. We'll, we'll go make some of the some of the panes now. Six? Yes, like that. Great. And that'll take us over for a little while. Yeah, like this. Okay, good. Oh, look at that. Just barely. Am I am I sort of crouched on that? There. That that's better. What the heck. All right, here we go. And and uh let me see. All right, we have some wall units on the side there. And uh, I didn't bring any wall units with me. So I'm just going to stick that on there for right now. Oh, it's hideous, but it's going to be okay. And we will, uh, we shall, oh, I don't, I thought I meant, 
Oh, we did. Our, we did. We ethoed ourselves there. <laughs> Look, the light gray blends in with the uh, thing. Yeah, etho. Okay. Some of you Hermitcraft fans know of what I speak there. No, I didn't want to do that, though. There we go. And that goes there. And I haven't figured out what I'm going to do there either yet. But I know I'm putting these here. I know this does this. Wall unit, I don't know. And another wall unit column right there. How are we doing for time, by the way? Uh, 7.37. Oh, we got plenty of time. We're going to be doing good here. Okay, that's that's good. That's good. Next step. Okay, uh, we need some uh, plain old unpolished andesite and some andesite wall units like that. So let's, let's do that. Let's set ourselves up with that. We'll put these here like this, like this, like this, like this. I can't believe if I, you can see the numbers right on there, and I still ethoed myself with those. I can't believe that. That is really slick. And I'm wondering how he did that without the numbers showing. He got rid of the numbers somehow. I don't know how he did that. But he's etho. He can do things like that. Uh, let us get the uh, regular andesite. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, wall units. Do we have any? Hawk, Hawkoon. That's okay. We're getting all this stuff now. Look at this, though. Isn't it glorious? These guys are saying, hmm, I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, it's because you can't see over the wall, you midgets. But take a look at this. Uh, Iron Golem can, though. Whoa. Oh, look at that thing. It's grand. It's simply grand. I like it. Now, these things, of course, won't be here afterwards. So we'll, we'll get these out of here. In fact, you know what? A nice uh, causeway out to the bay here would be really cool with a um yeah a, bi a big old causeway right out through here right out into this bay so a big old ship would pull up here to do the trade right next to this and wow that'll be really cool that'll be really cool all right let's get downstairs uh we need to get some of the andesite uh, you know what? Uh, I have these junk chests over here. I'm just going to take a quick look for andesite over there because I want to clear these out. I think I may have already cleared them out, have I? No, I haven't. Okay. So let's just do a quick check over here. I always like to check junk chests first. Yeah, see? We've got some right here. We can help clean up. Uh, let me see. All of that is stone and gravel and cobble. Oh, uh, we can bring some of those over. We're going to need that. A little bit of the unpolished right there. Regular stone, regular stone. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, cobblestone wall. Okay, I thought that might have been andesite. Yeah, that's called a wall. Okay, um, 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 polished andesite. We're going to need that. And I think we're good. Great. Back to work. All right, let's catch up in the chat. Uh, Okay, uh, I'm going to leave Lurks. I'm going to pester some friends into being my ears for asthmophobia. Ooh. All right. Appreciate the Lurks, Shiga. Thank you so much for dropping by, and thank you for the follow, and hope to see you on the Buffoon Craft server very, very soon. And if not, I will definitely stop by your stream for Phasmo. 
and other creepy games that you like to play. <laughs> all right. Uh, we needed the wall units, right? That's that's what this was all about. So uh, we just needed to make a few right here. That. There we go. All right. We need to put one there and there. And you, you guys get the idea. I can use scaffolding sometimes. I'm a professional. All right. Uh, see? Uh, I hate scaffolding. See, I had to troll myself with that. Okay, that's better. All right, uh, let me see. How far up did I go with these? Um, three high, it looks like. One, two, three. Yes. I'm going to do this just like this. Uh, sort of. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll do that like this. Uh, we will get in front of them <laughs> and place them behind us and i think that's what we'll do that's what professional minecrafters do everyone and they don't do things like that but it's it's nighttime anyway we're gonna have to sleep uh hands really ah two stage uh, Drac and be right back? Sure. Okay, yeah, something like that. Now, when we head on up here, a little bit like this. Now, come on, Thunder, just... Yeah, there you go. It's not rocket science, you know. That would be doing your older boy's homework. That's rocket science. And I be physics now, and I have to try to remember my physics. Right now we're doing the easy stuff. It's uh, kinematic motion, so. But uh, later on, it's a little harder with the, uh, like, the thermodynamics. Thermodynamics is like uh, heat transfer and all that, huh? Okay, that's 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 pretty good right there. And uh, we can we'll grab the white concrete next. And that'll help out a lot. Because then we'll have a floor on which we can stand. And then we'll do some birch and uh, things like that. All right, so let's offload all of this stuff. Bring a little bit of that with us. Uh, I thought I had some placement for these chisel stone columns. I think we moved those, though, or we planned on moving them. So we'll have to see. Uh, all the white concrete is right in here. Let's... There we go. Ah, I did it again. Fuck, oh, thunder. Come on, man. All right, we'll just do it the boring way. We'll go up here, and then we'll scooch across like this. And then we'll do this. Okay, all right. Okay, so we go in three like this with the old concrete, the white concrete. We might mix in some white wool with this to break this up a little bit. Maybe, maybe not. But we're not going to stick a block on there like that. <laughs> That's for sure. All right, now we can just stand on this thing like this. Uh, 
And let me think. How do we do this? Did some pattern there like that. You know what? I'm just going to go with this right now because I haven't worked this out yet. Like that okay and oh we've got we've got another row to go here great like this actually you know what that actually goes out to there that goes out to there and then the next row starts here good 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 Kraken is back. Welcome back, my friend. Moderator, co-pilot. By the way, I think I've already said it a number of times, but uh, it was it was a lot of fun being on Nebula's server with you for Nebula's birthday stream. That that was fun. It was great to have you in there. You know, it was all about Nebs that day, but you know what? Uh, it was fun. The rest of you guys having code name in there, having yourself in there, and the rest of our friends. Uh, that was really something. Okay. Yeah, I think I was placing dirt here because I wanted the concrete to be here. And yeah, I have this kind of structure here. And so that suggests. All right, and then some kind of separator here. All right, I need to maintain that then. Uh, one, two, three, like this. And then over here, right. So we'll have something here, actually. And we got to go grab that concrete before it despawns because that's expensive stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? All right, that's pretty good. No! All right, and then um, the next thing is the birch logs. And I'm pretty sure that's birch. That's stripped uh, birch logs. And let's take a look at time here. The new world is up on the server. Yes, it is, actually. That's right. And what did you name the server? You could type it in the chat because it's advertising. Look at that, people. It's coming together. All right, we're going to need... Oh, man, I'm trying to think. Fuck. Do we have... How much birch do we have? Obviously didn't think this through, Thunderhand. It's going to be okay. Generation, it's going to be all right. Cosmic disorder, that's what it is. Cosmic disorder. That's right. Awesome name. So where did you get the idea for the cosmic disorder? Embrace the cosmic disorder. Well, cosmic probably comes from nebula, right? That's probably a nebula reference. going down we have 10 minutes left to the generation stream and we are definitely raiding somebody this evening okay let's see do we have any boich i think not i mean we have this oak right here but i don't think we have any birch 
Let's check our junk chests. Because this helps us order our storage. Oh, cobblestone wall units. I'm just seeing if any are andesite that I can bring back up with me. I'm not... Well, I get some birch slabs, but we need the logs. And I don't think I have any logs, people. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, we've got some saplings. We might have to do a little lumberjacking. I think so. Well, I know what I'm doing off camera tomorrow. Yep. Okay, well, let's get that started anyway. Um, there's a couple of things we're going to need for that. And I think one of them, it might be in the, in the, in the, if it isn't in here, it's in my toolbox upstairs. Okay, great. Let's go get that set up. And it might be nighttime when we get back up there. I'm not sure. Yes, the cosmic is a reference to Nebs. The disorder is a reference to... You! Okay. <laughs> nice. Alright, let's head on down. You know what? I'm going to see if we have any saplings or any birch logs in here. I'm back to the junk chest, but this is how you get rid of junk chests. You plunder them. That's the idea. Eventually, they dwindle down to nothing. You consolidate, and then they're gone. By the way, uh, fairly soon, I will be setting up storage systems for both um, Generations and Buffoon Craft. And I'm pretty much going to have the same kind of design for each. I really like the idea of just uh, going up to some sort of input and just dumping the inventory right in there. I really like that idea. And having the sorta. Go and sort us, sort, of, sort them all out, and then, um, yeah, it does that for me. <laughs> so, uh, that's what I'm looking for. What are we looking for? A mega hoe, that's what we're looking for. You know, the, the, the tool people, family stream. All right. Um, let's let's get down here because we're also gonna need bucket of water. <gasps> this pedal. Nebs, this is for you. We can get at least this pedal, Junior. Now I'm not sure about the other one, but we can at least get one of them. Yes. See, even in that time, one of them either, either despawned or died. Look at that. There we go. And, and, and. Let's get close. Close enough for a screenshot. Come on. Come on. Oh. That's not a good screenshot. Could you get out of the kelp? Come on. Well, he's definitely living up to his name. Wow, this is actually pretty tough to get a decent screenshot here. Oh, no, not your butt. Come on now. Be nice. Uh, typical kids, right? You're trying to get a decent pick. Gonna run out of air soon. If I die, getting a pick of this stupid squid, well, that's it. We're, <laughs> we're out of air. We're going to have to do. That's going to have to do. Let's descend right down from above like this. And then when we get in range, we'll snap the pick. Come 
Come on, come on back. Right there. Right there. Come on with the name. There it is. That's a pretty good one. Ah, I think it's a little too late. Oh, you got to get really close for that name tag, huh? Definitely living up to the name. Ah, uh, maybe that. Okay, we've got a lot of screenshots of Dispetto Jr., right? So that's going to have to do. Uh, let me see. We're at 7.57. We're almost ready. Almost ready for our raid. So I'm going to set up the birch off to the side here somewhere. Yeah, probably right along here. And let me see, we have the dirt like this. We're going to need some boon meal. Like that. Yeah, I don't think I brought any bone meal up with me. Like this. Yeah, I didn't. A little stupid. All right, let's go get that. And then, uh, then we'll call it. All right, so I've got a number of raid options right now. But I always invite the chat for suggestions. So if you guys have anybody you'd like to raid, I'll consider it. Otherwise, I will make the choice on my own because I'm a big boy. I'm capable of doing that. And uh, I think we've got uh, several options, too. So, uh, One of the things, though, sometimes my iPad doesn't update right away. And so uh, you can help me at least uh, confirm uh, when I decide to raid somebody if they're actually still raiding or not. That would be, that would be like real helpful, yeah. In fact, I think Oscar might still be raiding, if I'm not mistaken, and we might be able to raid him. Although we'll probably come right in on the end of his stream, though, because he's been streaming for quite a while now, before before I started streaming. I have a two-hour stream, but man, he goes quite some time. Oh man, I should have put a height limiter on that across the top. Okay, anyways... Thanks for dropping by, everybody. You guys were super cool. You know, I was actually feeling a little bit down over the way I've made myself miserable. My, made myself miserable <laughs> buffooncraft the last two days. And so uh, I was feeling a little down on that. But you know what? It's cool to get in generations. The buffooncrafters lifted me right back up. It was really, really cool. And getting back in here with you guys is super, super awesome. Really, really appreciated it. Much thanks. Thank you, everybody. Okay, let us do... Let's set up a raid let's see who's uh still streaming right now and hopefully this will be up to date hey you know who you know who i owe right now i would love to go uh, raid oscar i raid oscar a lot actually whenever i get the chance because usually he raids me but i've been meaning to um uh raid prospixer for quite some time and um I, I'm pretty sure Oscar's just going to raid him after he's done, too. So I think we're going to wind up meeting up in there anyway. So uh, that's whom I am going to raid. And let's set that up. While I'm setting that up, uh, before I get into setting that up, I just want to, again, thank everybody for dropping by. Thank you so much. Remember, um, uh, tomorrow will be Kachi time from 6 to 8. Uh, Kachi has some really cool stuff planned. I hope I can pull it off. Gonna, some technical stuff we're going to have to do there. And then uh, Tuesday will be Buffooncraft. And then Thursday will be Generations. So there will be no Generations next Saturday. It will be Thursday instead. And then Sunday, Kachi time. And then that will be the new updated schedule. The only thing I am not sure of right now, of which I am not sure, is the time on Thursday. I assume it will be 6 to 8, but we'll have to see. All right, and so if you would like to join us along this raid, there's our raid message under Raid Boom Shakalaka. So you may copy that in there into your, onto your clipboard. 
There we go, and let us set up this raid. Make sure I'm typing his name correctly. And the raid is counting down. Thank you, everybody.